Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well today. I'm bringing you yet another tutorial for the F-16 and this one is going to be a pretty basic tutorial about how to use the radios, how to change frequencies, set presets, uh, etc. So as you can see, first of all, here we are in the mission editor again, just so I can demonstrate how you would set up presets in the mission editor before we get in. Uh, one thing to note, this can also be done with the DTC cartridge, but that's not the subject of this video. You kind of do it essentially the same way, and you just have to load it into the jet. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to show you the sort of normal way, I guess. So click on your aircraft, you know, put the aircraft in, set it to player or client or whatever. We have all these icons here. We're going to want to click on this one that's called radio settings. And then we have our COM1 UHF and our COM2 VHF and the 20 preset channels for each one and the frequencies that they are. Now you can see that all of the UHF, the ultra high frequency frequencies for the presets are much higher than the number of megahertz for the VHF ones. So there is only, there's a specific range or band that you can that the UHF and VHF radios operate within. So for UHF, it covers the band at 225 megahertz to 399.975 megahertz. And COM2, the VHF radio, covers the band of 108 to 151.975 megahertz. So as long as they're within there, they should operate fine. I have a few different units here, so we're going to put in a couple of those presets and then I'm going to show you some other things how you can adjust them uh, within the game and how to tune manual frequencies etc. So what I want to do here is this AWACS here, this E3, I want to put in its frequency 250 megahertz as a preset. So we'll go over to radio, there already is one, channel 6, but just for the sake of demonstration I'll just change channel 1 to 250. So we have that. Just going to put that in the briefing here just so I remember. And then we'll go to Spongalum here and we will set this. We'll just do the VHF one here, 122.200. Generally speaking, you're going to use the UHF frequency. That's kind of your main radio. VHF is oftentimes used as like a backup radio or a secondary radio. But what I like to do, I like to have my AWACS on my UHF frequency. And I like to have, sometimes I'll have, you know, the tower for whatever airbase I'm at on the VHF. But it's up to you, whatever you find useful for your mission, your situation. So anyway, same thing. Radio settings, and we'll set channel 1 again to, yeah, we'll just we'll do channel 3. Why not? 1, 2, 2, 200. And here we're just going to say what the frequency is. This so way, remember, and it, it's channel three. Just double check that. Yep, channel three. All right, so I'm going to get into the jet and then I am going to show you a few other things and how to use them. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we are in the jet now. And first thing I'm going to go through is uh, well, actually, controls. You need two controls for this you need your transmit switch UHF radio call radio menu and transmit switch VHF call radio menu. That will be, of course, for your UHF COM1 and your VHF COM2, respectively. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to press our COM1 button here, the UFC override switch, or ICP override button, COM1. Now, a few things that we can see on the DED, our data entry display. So this is the current frequency that we have set, 277 right now. We also have it right here, and we have the little asterisks next to it. That is so that you can manually adjust the frequency. So I guess we'll just do that first First thing. So we have, uh, oops, actually I'm going to go to briefing. We also have a tanker here that I'm going to talk to on 255 megahertz. So you just want to use your dauber switch right here to make sure that you have the asterisks around that field. Then we're going to enter on the scratch pad 25500 and press enter and it will take us back to the CNI page which is the default page and we see now we have UHF set to 255. We're going to press our UHF transmit button. We're going to click on our tanker here and intend to refuel.
Alright, so that's worked. Now I'm just going to abort this just for the sake of doing that. Now we're going to go to go back to COM1 and talk about presets here. So dauber switch down twice till you get to preset. And we have a couple things we can do here. So this one, of course, refers to the preset channel we have selected. You can also use the increment decrement switch here. You change it to whatever one you want to adjust. And you can do a couple things here. You can see what the frequency is set to. You go through all of these and you can see that they're set to different things. If you wanted to adjust these, say we were on here and we wanted to change this to 28475, you could do that. We'll just go back to COM1. You see we have, or preset 1, it's 250, that's what we want for AWACS. So now to set our the preset as what we're using, we're going to do our dauber switch back to this field. Then all you're going to do is press 1, in this case, for that preset, or whichever preset it is. Enter. And now you can see next to UHF it just says 1, referring to preset 1. UHF transmit again. We will go to AWACS, and we'll just say request picture. Overlord, 1, 1, 1. Request picture. Alright, and clean by the way just means there's no bandits that he's detecting. Uh, now we're just going to talk about UHF, or VHF rather, which is essentially exactly the same. We have the same frequencies there. If we wanted to talk to the airfield, the um, the tower, the VHF frequency at Ferdsfeld, then we can do 132650, we'll just put that in. Same thing, 132650, is that what it was? I already forgot. Yes. Then VHF transmit. And come down here. Just say request azimuth. Alright. And now, again, exactly the same thing for our presets. The only difference between the operation of these two radios is the frequency band in which they operate. But here, same thing, you could adjust your presets. We're going to come to preset 3, which is the one for Spangdalem. We can check that, we could adjust it if we needed to, but we're going to go back to this data field. Press 3, enter that preset, and now we have our VHF radio is set to channel 3. Go here, VHF radio transmit, and it's, it's not here, we're too far away. But you get the idea. All we would do is we'd, you know, go to that airfield, and ATC, find it, and then we just talk to it. So as I said, it's exactly the same as using the UHF radio, it's just a different band. One more thing to talk about here is the backup radio. This is the only radio that can be used with battery power alone, or the other two you need to use. You need to have the generators running, so you need your engine on. And so this could be used if you were on the ground before you had engines started or if you had an engine or generator failure in the air, then you could use the backup radio. To do this, you need to have it set to main or both. I usually just set it to both and either manual or preset. You have all of your preset frequencies here. This will change if you change them in the mission editor. So we changed frequency one to 250. So it's set to 250 now. If it's set to preset, you use this little dial here and you can adjust the preset. If it's set to manual, you can just input the frequency as you want to. To utilize this radio you need to make sure that your C and I switch, your communication and identification switch, is set to backup. And then you can utilize this radio. And also additionally if you set this to backup then on your UFC you have under UHF it says backup or B up and it will change the frequency display here to whatever your backup radio is set to. Otherwise, you want to have this in the UFC position so that you can utilize the frequencies and manage them via the ICP and the DED. And the very last thing here that I want to talk about is the volume knobs for COM1 and COM2. Of course, adjust the volume of COM1 and COM2, respectively. That pretty much covers it, though. It's pretty straightforward. Super easy. So hopefully this was helpful to you, hopefully you learned something. 
If you want to consider liking, subscribing, maybe donating through the Super Thanks or joining the Discord, that would be greatly appreciated. We'd love to see you in the Discord. If you have any further questions, that's a good place to ask. But anyway, I hope you have a good one, and I hope that I will see you in the next video.